Banff gondola. Wow. Over there, you can see Bow River. Ooh, right there. And Fairmont Castle. Fairmont Banff Castle. And riding up. Right when you get off from the gondola, this is level one of this awesome structure where the top as a rooftop area take awesome photos. Canada flag. That's the trail to another view. It's about 20 minutes walking. So even here, I guess you could sit, have some food, and have a little lookout area. You can see the Bow River from here as well, really nice view. It's just pretty much gorgeous after you get up from the gondola. Normally people spend about an hour and an hour to an hour and a half here is what the tour guide said. This is the view from the top of Banff Gondola and you get to see everything down there. The view that you had when you were going up the gondola. You can see Fairmont Banff down there as well. <laughs> this view is unreal. <laughs> This is the top, guys. When you ride up the Banff gondola, you'll get here. And this is the rooftop. You get some restaurants on the third floor. Over there, you could see the Fairmont Banff. So beautiful. And the clouds are amazing. Everything just looks like a painting. That's the Bow River. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the Bull River, if you search it on Google, it'll say that it's named after literal bows, as in people used to use the material around here to make bows. So from here, you can do like a 20 minute walk up there for another view. Wow. Can't believe I'm here, guys. This has literally been on my bucket list forever. First stop, Banff. Next stop, Lake Louise. So 
pretty much the rooftop goes 360 degrees. Well, almost. Just kidding, it doesn't. <laughs> I guess it cuts off there, but it almost feels like 360. And then there's like this little, I don't know what people are doing there, but I guess you could like sunbathe over there or something. I love how you can see the little patches of the mountain and it's just the clouds. Skills. <laughs> So now I am in the middle of the walk. Earlier just left that spot from the rooftop view and headed up that way. I saw a little chipmunk earlier. This is a really nice walk, like a nice 20 minute walk. Chipmunk. Hi. Don't run away from me. No. <sighs> it's so cute. Look at all of this orangeness. I don't know what it is. But it seems to be all over the rocks. Or shall I say all over the mountain? I love these trees. Beautiful. I'm still not at the top yet. Quite a walk, but it's good. After having lunch on the third floor over there. Okay, so I'm basically at the top. I'm not going all the way up there because apparently the view is kind of similar. But, um, oh, it's your mug! <laughs> Okay, I think it's the same chipmunk. I'm not sure, but I saw like, this is the third chipmunk today. It's such a nice view. So 20 minute walk, worth it, I would say. So you have a little like hangout area. People can take pictures on the lookout. Kind of similar to the one on the rooftop, but a much closer view, I think. So I think this view, for pictures turns out much better than the one on the rooftop above the restaurant right after you get off the gondola. Um, and you get some seats over here. Okay, obviously there's lots of chipmunks here. <laughs> it's a very cute, cute lookout point. Another lookout point over there. Basically, I'll be seeing people taking pictures everywhere, but it's not as crowded as I thought. Maybe because this is still technically during a pandemic. And I don't think people are like all wearing masks, but some are and some aren't. But people are definitely keeping their distance. Oh, there's the chipmunk that I saw. Maximum fine, $25,000. Do not feed them. Got it. Wasn't planning to feed them anyways. Ah, uh, gorgeous. I love you, Bamf. Ah, <laughs> oh, so pretty. Honestly, this Bow River is just insanely beautiful. I'm not too crazy about the rocks, honestly, but I think the mountain view with the river makes it extra beautiful. And then just seeing the clouds, I think at first I thought these were just like patches on the mountains. And then I was like, wait, <laughs> they are moving. So it's clouds. And I was just being dumb. It's so pretty. Banff, Alberta, Canada, guys. Definitely one of the best trips 
I have gone on. Just breathtaking. Looks like a painting. Right, and now I'm taking the gondola down. There we go. Leaving the top of the mountain. This is not the best if you're scared of heights, which I'm not, but it is a little scary. not when you're on your way like up the gondola but they take pictures for you like a professional photographer when you are on your way down so right before you get it so remember someone can take pictures for you or if you just come with a bigger group then they can take a picture for you oh my gosh so steep i think the way back down is nicer because like right away you know to pretty much like take out your camera um <laughs> but you pretty much already saw this on the way up same view it's about like eight minutes is what they tell me i didn't actually count I was too busy taking videos and pictures <laughs> bye Banff. well no actually i'm still in Banff. <laughs> but bye Banff gondola beautiful views apparently since like the early 1900 somebody like pave the way like this this ground pretty sure that you see here to get up and then the gondolas were made later but you'll see all that information so beautiful there's a starbucks by the way uh down below that that area where you buy your tickets or you could do it online um Apparently today, or at least when, now that I'm here, um, the price for the online tickets and uh, if you buy it over here is the same, but I don't know. I didn't really check how much online is. It just kind of showed up, but we did ask the ticket person and apparently the price is the same as online. I know certain places when you go travel, I guess it's different pricing, but there's like so many uh, tour guide places you could purchase your tickets from. This was about a $99 per person package where uh, it includes gondola, so this trip, and then we have to leave the parking lot over there and drive to our next destination for a cruise. So it's a huge lake. And that package tour, uh, the one I'm on right now, is about 99 bucks. So not bad because I did check the boat cruise and it's already on its own about like $48. So definitely if you wanted to do cruise and a gondola trip, it's great to do in one day. Ta-da, beautiful view. So I think this is the best. So you have like one side of your door, just like, perfect for picture taking and views and then obviously this side is just like less good looking because yeah <laughs> that's where you enter there you go guys the amp gondola this entrance door i didn't notice earlier but you could actually stick your hand out and yeah some air i thought it was completely enclosed like most gondolas so uh pretty cool don't lose your phone though almost on the way down